What is up, everyone? My name is Silas Mado, and welcome to a Halo 4 commentary. Now, today, we are on the series Rumination, which is fairly new on my channel, and I'd just like to say thank you for the watching the last episode. If you have not already, go ahead and click back. The link will be in the corner right now to episode 1. Now, um, this is a gameplay that I got just not too long ago, and, um... I was I was gonna use it for some other gameplay or something maybe, but I, I decided to actually you know pull it up. But there were some AFK people in this. Um, that's one thing that I kind of might want to talk about slightly in this gameplay. But really, um, I want to bring in um, my main topic today, which is Halo 4 transitions in Halo 5. Now, um, before I get to this, I wanted to talk about the series name Rumination. Now, I wanted to I don't know. I was kind of thinking of some names and. I wanted to put something like this, the rumination stands for thought, and I thought it was just a really cool word, and um, this is this just really brings out my thoughts on things, and that's really what kind of brings out in a commentator, I mean, it brings out their thoughts and really just everything about them, so, um, the more you know about me, the better, too, so, um, one thing, well, <laughs> that sounded pretty cocky, but, um, what I wanted, a couple things that I wanted to, you know, elaborate on, but, um, people are really, I know I've talked about this a lot, but lots of people are stuck in Last Halo and saying, like, okay, this Halo's go doing bad, they've they've not picked up on what they've done, like, the, the 343 is not doing a good job on this game, and really, honestly, I think that they have done a good job now. Thus far, Halo 4 has been pretty good, though, um, they could have made a better decision on when to post the Crimson map pack. I think it would have been a better idea to put that later because we already had a lot of big team battle maps, um, just to talk about that in the first place. And, but, I mean, now that we had, I um, uh, the Crimson and the Castle, or, um, not the Crimson, I don't know what happened right there. Anyways, <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, we had the Majestic map pack, the Crimson and Castle. Now, Crimson did bring some sort of, like, thing, but that, I mean, I was liking Halo 4 for the first couple months, and I was really hoping, you know, the, the close quarter maps are pretty fun, but I want something different that would kind of mix it up, and, um, everyone really, nearly everyone played Big Team Battle, and to this day, everyone still pretty much plays Big Team Battle, and that's, I mean, that's probably gonna stay the same, because it's such a large playlist, and it's a lot of fun, but, I mean, I, I'm, it's not my favorite. But I think, in hindsight, it really would have been a better idea to place a different map pack ahead of that, such as Majestic or Castle. Now I'm gonna get on to I I like like I'm uh, I like the maps. They're very beautiful maps. They're really great. But I mean, I I tend to find myself not getting on to say let's play some Cat Crimson map pack to be honest. And that's just my opinion right there. Uh, Majestic map pack I really thought brought a lot into the uh, gameplay aspect now. And I thought the maps were really cool. It really brought that Halo feel to it with that spacey ish kind of look to it and all these other things. Bringing in the, like, look at the campaign with the Promethean weapons and everything. Kind of like bringing that out too. And I thought that was a lot of fun. Plus, um, I really liked the maps. And now that they, like, since they, since the maps were smaller, we could bring a free for all playlist back into the game. And now we have Rumble Pit and all these other playlists that are really awesome and amazing. And look at, like, how Halo's evolved now. Look at it great. It's greatly amazing. And it's just super, it's, it's bringing out its stuff. Now let's get to Castle. Castle is the last map pack that just came out. And it's such an amazing map pack. I've had so much fun. I've played it a lot. This is on, this isn't on the Castle map pack. This is on a Drift. But anyways, I thought the Castle map pack was spectacular. And it's, 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 it brought those three maps. I forgot their names, but... They're, there's, they're pretty open, lots of them are pretty close quarters, but I have a lot of fun on there because it's more of a, it's more of a merge, like they're mid-range maps, there's a pretty larger range map, and then there's a smaller range map, and that brings a lot of gameplay style, and I think that's really what they should have done with the map packs in the first place, is add a, um, you know, like a big map, a medium-sized map, and a small map for the map pack, instead of stating out and putting like, you know, just that one big map pack or that small map pack or that mid-range map pack. This really brought the mixture into the playlists, in my opinion, and it's bringing out all the playlists that people really used to like, and now the new playlists have new maps and amazing things that will be amazing. But, um, anyways, um, I've, I'm really thinking about that, and also, people... I mean, I, oh, I actually went on a killing frenzy in this gameplay, <laughs> but the 343 now, I think, has completed their job for this game. It's pretty, it's a lot of fun, it can be better, lots of things can be improved, but let's just be honest, 
any game can be improved a lot. And this game just was really, really great. Um, this this game really brought a lot of stuff, but um, I think now 343 has done their thing, but now with Halo 5, there's a lot of things that they definitely can fix. Um, really, the in my opinion, the maps can be fixed. A lot of the maps, um, mechanics too, with people like walking, you know, just like certain kinds of gameplay aspects and more tactical gameplay for certain people who like to do that. Maybe bring a more competitive playlist into the game because a lot of the gameplay, there's not as much competitive unless it's a custom match. Hopefully, not maybe not an MLG playlist, but you know, a playlist, maybe like a hardcore playlist like SWAT, but a little more like tactical playlist kind of thing. I think that'd be really cool. But I, I'm really thinking Halo 5, the Halo 4 campaign was absolutely, it was really fun. I had a lot of fun with that campaign. I thought it was really cool, but I, um, the matchmaking is probably what needs to be worked on the most with um, a lot of the playlist, a lot of really the kills and other things that happen and with the joining session in progress sort of stuff a lot of the problems and a lot of things that happen when the game came out we can I mean I think we should take more time on this and caress it like a baby and really put some a lot of time and effort into getting this like start off of the game just as good as the end of Halo 4 thanks everyone for watching hope you liked my opinions please comment in the section below if you liked my commentary um if please comment please 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 comment on what you would like me to comment on next or topic about next week so I have stuff to elaborate on. Thank you everyone for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. I love you all and I'll talk to you guys later in my next commentary. Bye.